My name is Galen Hooks, and I want to create a world for us all to escape into, and that world is called Campfire Vaudeville. Before I explain what Campfire Vaudeville is, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a dancer and a choreographer, and I've been working since I was seven years old after my group won Star Search. And over the past 20 years, I've worked with over 50 artists, and I'm most recognized for my work with the LXD, the Legion of Extraordinary Dancers, and my work with Neo as his leading lady in several videos and live shows and performances. Now that you know a little bit about me, I'll tell you about Campfire Vaudeville. So Campfire Vaudeville is a world. It's just an escape into nostalgia and simpler times. And within that world, we have all this content that we've created. So it's a song and dance experience told through an original folk tale. What the heck does that mean? What that means is that <laughs> I wrote an original folk tale that tells the story of two girls on a journey, the gypsy and the dreamer. The Gypsy is played by one of my best friends, Melinda Sullivan, who is one of the best tap dancers ever in the entire world. You might remember her from So You Think You Can Dance. She was one of the finalists. And uh, I play the Dreamer. Well, my cousin has been making charcoal sketches of each page of this folk tale, and we're uploading them every day through the social media accounts of Campfire Vaudeville. So it's kind of like Mumford and Sons meets Oh Brother Where Art Thou meets Harry Potter. <laughs> At the end of each chapter, the page literally comes to life in a video and the story continues told through song and dance and then it goes back to the page for the next chapter. Along the way we also release the music on iTunes. It's pretty cool because the style of dance, which is this sand dancing soft shoe kind of thing, and the style of music, which I was inspired by a lot of different things from folk to bluegrass to blues to gospel to country music, and when you take these two things that aren't very popular <laughs> or not mainstream, it's actually interesting that pretty much everybody can relate to it no matter what age you are and no matter where you live, everyone seems to have some kind of connection to this type of song and dance. Melinda and I both can sing and dance this at the same time. It's essentially like playing an instrument with your feet and dancing at the same time because the percussion of what we're playing with our feet is completely different than what uh, the melody is of what we're singing and the rhythm of what we're singing. So it's really difficult and it's really cool to be able to share that type of entertainment with people. We also have cameos from some of my favorite people in the entire world. One of them is Jillian Myers, who has worked with Janet Jackson. One of them is Akamon Jones, who is Usher's creative director, and he plays the sage. Another is Joy Star, who toured for five years with Kanye West. She's an incredible artist in her own right, and she plays the maiden. I also enlisted the help of director Charles Oliver, who directed several of the episodes I did for the LXD. Since it's such a complex um, concept, we're having to take baby steps to get people to understand what the world is. So the next thing on our list is to do a live show. And this live show is an experience. It's not just a show where you go into a theater and you sit and watch. It is maybe a site-specific show in the middle of the woods where you're sitting on logs and you're making s'mores over a campfire while the show's happening and at intermission there's someone that comes around and tells fortunes to people and there's haystacks and moonshine and it is an experience and you get away from all of the hustle and bustle of your life or we could put that into a venue in the heart of Hollywood in a club that we've all been to for events before and completely transform the inside of it into a different world. What I've created so far for Campfire Vaudeville, from the videos to the pages to the website, which is also an immersive experience. Our Instagram feed is shown through a viewfinder. Our videos are shown projected onto a sheet on the wall. Um, all of that has been funded by me. Imagine what we could do if we could take everything you've seen so far and translate it to the stage and actually have funding and actually have resources. <laughs> well, what you've seen so far is just the base of what this whole thing could develop into. And even more exciting is that this show is not just a weekend run at a venue and then it's done. This show is a baby step to the bigger picture, which is a Broadway show, a series, a band, an album, a book, a clothing line. The possibilities are literally endless. So investing into this show is really investing into an entire culture that can be made out of Campfire Vaudeville. So what we need funding for <laughs> is all of the fun stuff that goes into creating a live show. Lighting, sound, wardrobe, rehearsal space, paying the incredible artists and musicians who would be involved in this, promotion, 
And this is where you come in. Please share this with your friends, no matter what profession you're in, whether you're related to the arts or not. If you dig this project and you want to see it go somewhere, please share it and please donate. I hope to be able to create something that we can all have fun experiencing together in the very near future and for years and years and years beyond that. <laughs>